Are you wondering if it's time to quit your job and move on to greener pastures? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm actually gonna give you some signs that it might be the time to do that. Hey everybody, it's Brian from A Life After Layoff, and today I wanna to give you some signs that it might be time to quit your job and move on to greener pastures. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering if it's time for you to leave. So I wanna break down some of the surefire signs that you should be thinking about your next opportunity. Now as a corporate recruiter, an HR professional, and a career coach, I see a lot of different people in a lot of different phases of their career where they probably stayed in role too long. And inevitably, it does come back to hurt you much later in your career. So in this video, I'm gonna to try to break down some of those things so you can avoid those same mistakes. Now, I'll point out the obvious, you're probably seeing some changes in the background. And if you watched my previous video, you know that we actually just built a new house and moved. So I'm in the process of building a new studio. I've got some new lighting and I'm working through on a new microphone. So you're gonna notice some upgrades to the channel. Uh, the background is going to be a work in progress. I've got some ideas for it, but we're slowly but steadily going to get there. So you're going to see an evolution of the scene behind me. So bear with me as I do that. And before we get too far into it, if you're interested in more videos just like this one directly from a corporate recruiter and a career coach, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you might want to consider hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss any further posts. And if you're interested in following behind the scenes on our house hunting journey, my wife actually has a separate channel where we're starting to vlog all about it. So make sure you check that out as well. All right, so let's get into some of the signs that maybe it's time to leave your current situation. First sign is that you're bored at work. Bored at work, you have to ask yourself some difficult questions. Why is it that you're bored to begin with? Are you underutilized in your current situation? Have you become complacent or maybe you're just in the wrong career path altogether. But any way you look at it, you have to establish a plan because people who don't have a plan tend to be rudderless in their careers. And we want to make sure that we have positive momentum moving forward. And boredom usually creeps in from somebody who doesn't truly know what they want to do. So you have to ask yourself the tough questions and you have to have a plan put in place. And that's actually something that I talk a lot about in my private one-on-one -on -one session. So if you're somebody that's struggling with that, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to set up a time to talk to you. Now let's break it down a little further. If you're somebody that is complacent in your job, in other words, you've stayed in role for too long because you maybe have a golden, I call them golden finger cuffs, where a company offers you a nice pay range, a decent benefits package, and it's just enough to keep you around for the long term. And I made another video about why a steady job is bad for your career. I highly suggest that you check it out because I go into a lot more depth about that exact concept. But essentially, if you're complacent and you've stayed in role for too long, you're not gonna hit your career goal and it's actually gonna hurt your career growth in the long term. So check that video out. If you think you're in that situation, it's definitely a good reason for you to consider moving on to a new opportunity. So that leads us right to our next sign, which is no upward mobility. If you're in a job where you're feeling blocked in your current situation, you definitely need to start thinking about whether or not that's a good opportunity for you long term. Because again, we don't wanna fall into complacency in our careers and not meet our career goals. So it's worth reevaluating your current work situation and figure out whether or not there's gonna be any mobility options for you. And if not, it's definitely something that you should be assessing on any new opportunity that comes your way because you're just gonna fall right into the same patterns if you don't focus on that in your job search process. So let's talk about a couple of definite deal breakers. The first one being ethical issues. So if you're put into a situation where you're asked to do something that questions your professional integrity, asks you to cook the books, or worse, asks you to break a law, you definitely need to get out because no position is worth ruining your professional reputation. And I'm thinking any regulated job where you have to carry a license. So it's almost a no-win situation. So if you find yourself in that predicament, it's definitely time to update that resume and get out. All right, so let's talk about the next one. It's kind of related. It's about the toxic work environment. I made another video all about signs that you might be in a toxic work environment. So if you're not sure and you're thinking you could be, Make sure you check that video out. So essentially a toxic work environment is something that is not healthy for you both physically or mentally. It could be dealing with a toxic or bad boss. It could be dealing with a company culture that's very unhealthy. Maybe it's work-life balance issues, or maybe it's dealing with very gossipy coworkers that are holding you back from achieving your career goals. In any case, there's almost no upside to staying there because it's gonna be very difficult for you to move the needle on that toxic culture. Act like a free agent and make those proactive steps to find a better situation for yourself. So the next major sign is being underpaid. Being underpaid is definitely a sign that you should be considering moving to a new opportunity. 
Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm not a big proponent of job hopping, but there is some value if you're grossly underpaid to the market. Moving to a new job is gonna give you the best opportunity to increase your wages significantly. Make sure that you know your worth before you do it because you don't wanna jump into a situation that's gonna put you right back where you started. So why are people underpaid? And I see this a lot as a corporate recruiter where I'm trying to attract external talent into an organization that has underpaid their entire department. And the person comes in and kind of upsets the apple cart. And typically in that case, what the hiring managers and the HR people come back with is, hey, this person is gonna mess up our internal equity. And when I actually look at their wage ranges, I say, well, your internal equity is already out of whack to begin with. The best case scenario is the HR department reevaluates your compensation and adjusts you to the market. But in most cases, you're probably gonna be stuck where you are and just getting your two or 3% raise each year. So it pays literally to know what your value is on the open market and make sure that you negotiate accordingly. So, all right, so let's talk about the last sign that you might wanna leave your job for a new opportunity. And this is that you're falling behind your peer group. Now, if you're serious about your career, you should have a definitive career path or plan put in place as early as possible in your career. And you should be able to check how you're doing against that. And a good litmus test is to pay attention to the other people that you came into the workforce with. So if all the people that were in your college graduating class are all moving into advanced roles, maybe one or two levels above where you currently are, it's a good indicator that you're falling behind your peer group. And if you don't know you're falling behind your peer group, you need to figure that out because it probably means that you don't have a plan. And honestly, that's probably one of the biggest reasons why people come to me as a career coach so that they don't really know how to catch up to the rest of the market. Once you fall behind, it's a lot harder because you have now all the people behind you and the earlier generations are now pushing for those same jobs. So your competition is twice as fierce. And that's why I recommend that you check out that video, why a steady job is bad for your career. And also another video about the employment curve because it's all related. All right, so that should give you some ideas on whether or not you should be considering quitting your job and moving on to greener pastures. Now, if you're in that situation, I don't recommend that you go tender your resignation today. Be smart about it. Put together a plan and know what you're doing before you do it so you don't keep on repeating the same patterns of behavior. But if you need more help, that's actually what I specialize in. I've got a website called a alifeafterlayoff.com. It's loaded with tips and tricks, all from a corporate recruiter and insider's perspective. I also have a couple of training courses that represent my deepest and most intimate knowledge. The first one is called Resume Rocket Fuel. It's designed to teach you how to write a resume that's gonna give you the best chance of getting noticed by that recruiter. The purpose of that resume is to get you that first round interview. Once you get the first round interview, it's up to you to sell yourself throughout the rest of the process and that's where the ultimate job seeker bootcamp comes in. It takes you through each step of that interviewing process and ultimately helps you land your dream job. Hey, appreciate you watching. Happy careering and we will see you on the next one.